Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Time at Porsche tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on finishing my first commerce commission. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it in this first day because I'm carrying on from where I left off in the last episode and it's getting quite late, it's 6 o'clock and I'm running out of stamina and I could go and buy some food I don't think I need stone. I'm sure I've got enough stone. Yeah, I've got plenty of stone. It's wood I'm desperate for, for fuel for my forges. But alas, it's going to take three hours for each piece of... Uh, so if I had five forges, perhaps I could do it. Oh, I didn't need that. Wood. How much have we got? I need twenty. I need twenty or thirty wood. I'm not sure. Nineteen. So another nine. That's good. One more for sure. Ooh. My stamina is getting very low. That should give me enough wood. Right. <sighs> it's seven o'clock already. Time flies when you're having fun. I can't even run. It's wasting my stamina. I have to walk, but I'm sort of running. But I can't dash. Now who's ah oh, here? Mm, queer Quiver. Uh, I've got I'm time to do precious Quiver. I'll talk to you another time. Right, so this furnace craft. Oh, refuel. And let's give you <clears throat> you can see none have been done so far. So really I've need another two forges, which means twenty more wood. Oh, I just haven't got the stamina to do it. Um well looking on the bright side, I'll have a sleep and then I can do it for tomorrow. Um let's talk to him and see what we can do. Hey there! I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> Yep, there's seven hula hulas. And here's all the options. And this one looks most appealing, the fishing rod. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, could have called this episode the fishing rod. Um, but that will be the next episode. Now let's check what the mailbox is saying. Oh, wow, look at this. Uh, let's do from Paulie first. Hey, new builder, I have a man manly commission for you to help you get settled in. Surely that's a bit sexist, isn't it? Uh, anyway, you're, fe you're, you're feeling it. Well, not really, because I'm running it. Oh, mind you, I am feeling it. I've got copper. I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but mancha quality. Okay. Am I supposed to answer them in a deep voice? Okay. Uh, also, if you don't have one already, you will need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. How long do you give me? Well, there's no time limit by the looks of it. So, most certainly, I will do this for you. Here's my rewards that I will get some money, some experience, uh, faction for the town, and 10 reputation for Paulie. So there we go, furniture maker. That's something else. You see how it's all stacking up, all the stuff you can do. Civil corpse. 
Hi Build, I just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Porsche can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering material, materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission, that's all. Uh, Porsche Civil Corps. Right, might sound complicated but basically nice and simple, you go there, you pay them, they go gather resources for you. You don't get the resources straight away. They could take anything from one to f three, four days, and then they appear in that chest next to the post box. I don't have money yet, so thanks for the offer. We'll be doing that in the future. Next one from Antone. Hey Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend but feel free to t turn them in so like I mentioned there's no commissions on a Saturday or Sunday but we can help out uh, once we are qualified to inspect the goods so that's from Anton and last of all hello new builder we'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in and an abandoned ruin one below the church of the light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. We ain't going there yet until we get weapons and armour. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Porsche Town Hall. Yeah, well, that hazardous is like it says. It's hazardous. And we ain't going there yet. But that is another episode, and it'll be a good one. Right, so notice once I've read, up, read all the posts, it uh, removes the marker. So am I doing enough sand? I'm doing two on that one. How many am I doing on this one? I need to do two on it as well. Uh, so we go to craft, because I think I'm only doing one, and we want, well, we may as well just, can I not add one more? Yeah, there we go, so that's two. That's the five that I need. Uh, refuel. Make sure it's got enough fuel. Let's back it up. How much fuel have you got? Yeah, you're still good, I hope. Can I refuel you more? Yeah. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough. I've got no wood left, so done and dusted with that. But there's my five sand. So it's looking like I'm going to need to have a sleep, wake up, grab my sand, and go and hand in the commission. So let's do that. Um, I've got 0 0.8 stamina left. So, oh, I meant to fix this. How much do I need? 10 wood. Can I get 10 wood with 8 stamina? Is it possible? Am I feeling lucky? Well, am I? Will this give me the... Oh, there's only one way to find out. Oh, seven, so close. Four stamina. Oh, you kidding me. You are kidding me. wood. I hope it's wood. Oh, no, I ain't got enough stamina. Done and dusted. Beaten at the last. Oh, well, I'll have to sleep another night with a breeze blowing through the room. Won't be the first or the last time. Let's have a sleep. Right, let's go see if my sand is ready. Oh, this means a visitor. Does it not? Oh, it usually there's a delay when you've got someone visiting you. Uh, right, so the way this works is you just walk up to it, press the E key and you gather. The resources that it's done for you. There's two glass. There's four glass. 
there's the fifth piece, piece of glass so I've got the glass to do the commerce commission uh, I might as well see what's in this chest some warm gloves um, that's quite nice isn't it Um, can I put them on? Or can I use the, the let's see, warm gloves, attack plus five. Oh yeah, let's see, I've got boxing gloves on. I'm not going to box Lua. Uh, let's go hand in this commission. So many things to distract you. Uh, why is that l l locked on centre camera? Why is it showing all of that information up there still? Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's about the data disks. So, I'm going to go talk to the research centre. Oh, it's open. See how quickly time flies. Now that nasty scumbag would have been. Look, he's there on the boards, nicking the best of what's there. Hi there. Okay. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. None of them. So we've got to go. He's nicked the best job off of here. Great. So I've got a feeling then we're going to need to go see the person. The research centre is quite ah right. So we got to go to the research centre. Quick about it, cool. Petra's been a bit snappy with her orders. All right, let's go there. I've got my boxing gloves, so I'm ready for anything or anyone. Basically, anyone wants to have a brawl, I'd like them to get in. Yeah, I would. And I'm not going to dash because it will waste my stamina. Now you can start to appreciate why I do my stamina first before even health. Oh, look, the girls are working out. Not that they need to, I mean, no. Oh, that's the school, so we want the research centre, which is just here. Told you you'll be coming here a lot. There's Petra, she is lovely. What do we have here? Ah, oh, data disk. You know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Well, um, I was actually wanting to do the other, the commission job, which now I'm going to get to do. So there you go, you got double your bubble worth of the experience out this episode. Two quests done. Let's talk. Hello. To right, so here you go. Now that we've done the commission for her, for them, whoever it would be, they would have this um, question mark. So we click on that. Thanks a bunch. Now we can get this on with this research. And look at that. Isn't that cool? We got 11 relationship with her, which is good. That will benefit us in the future. We got experience. We got money. We got all the good stuff. And I can even go talk to Lee still. So let's do that. 
that would be three things you got out of this episode. Three quests. For every one that you do something positive for, you're going to obviously gain a reputation. And it is very good to have friends. Especially when they're all female. No, I mean, just kidding. Just aside. I mean, it's good to have friends. Lots of friends. Right, and thankfully, here is Lee. So let's talk to him and get his opinion on this data disk. Good day, Builder. Oh dear, a data disk. Yep, you guessed it. One is for and one is against. And isn't that true to life? Especially how it was 500 years ago. You know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the age of corruption. It is highly dangerous because there's a chance this little item here could contain the blueprint for Armageddon. It's all in Mr. Happy. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what? 18? 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? When I was young, my great grandma shared her first hand account of the time before Peach, the time when folks lived in ruins underground. She went days without food, everybody fought each other over the most basic of things, and people were considered old if they managed to live to 30. And it was always, always dark. Okay, so. Imagine that. Because that's what the end of the world looked like. That situation was created by the very same sort of dark technologies stored inside this little disk. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you, Aren't but you? it's the reality of your builder business. Dangerous technologies are spread all over the world, waiting to be stumbled upon and rediscovered. Places like the Research Center and cities like Vega 5 expedite their recovery. Calamity will strike again, mark my words. So, it's a priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. With help from ruin divers such as yourself, of course. So I can give this to you? Yes, yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for your efforts. We have in our possessions a vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Wait a minute, I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds. You'll see. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more discs. You do know how to plant crops, right? Oh dear. You should ask your neighbor Emily about how to farm. Okay, great. Here, I'll take the disc and give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us and we'll give you more seeds. You'll be doing this world a great service. Now look at that, how nice we've got some cotton seeds, some experience, and we've got some uh, reputation with Lee. So there's another use for data discs. So you can take them to the research centre, you can take them to Lee. You can shop here using them, and you can shop in the research centre using them. Cool, let's get busy. Oh, who might you be? Bacteria spreads fast in this season. You've got to look after your personal hygiene. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, and that's about it. Bacteria spreads fast in it this is season. the beginning. You've got to look after your pers- what can I say? Options will open up to us as we progress. And we are definitely going to progress. Uh, also, Nora's really lovely. Oh, hi there. See, we're getting one relationship are you just by talking. new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And again, she's lovely. Uh, we've got limited options. You can have a punch up with them, by the way. Uh, but I don't want to do that. Really, uh, what I do want to do, though, however, is go into the options, go into the sound, set the sound effects to six, and the voice to seven, background to six, eight, oh, timer, K 
kicking off. Let's try that. I'm probably make no difference, but let's try that. Right, hopefully that water is not as loud and you can hear me okay. And hopefully it will do all the other sound effects. Do you see how beautiful this game is? You can just walk up to people and say hi and gain some ex reputation with them. It's just really nice. Really so nicely done. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Where's my other fave? Here she is. Hiding under here. You're that new person. See, look. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. Yes, she may sound completely fake and shallow. But she is still gorgeous. We'll leave there. I'm not going to. Oh, here we go. There's the sparring one. So you can have a punch up with some, some of the people. Why on earth would you want to do that? Well, some people, I guess, whatever floats your boat. Not this boat, though, for me. So I'm going to leave. And I'm going to end the episode before I really take this whole series down the sewer. Um, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And do remember, it's only a game. And a good game at that. Goodbye.